All right. So if everyone's ready, make sure you have your water. We're going to start with a dynamic warm up. The first one I want you to do is going to start with seated jacks. So I think everyone today is seated. So you don't need weights for these. Just get nice and loose. I know if you did Monica's, you already warmed up. So go ahead and just do it. We're going to do it for 30 seconds. You're going to start nice and slow, really opening up that upper body. So continue. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. You can speed it up if you like. Let me just start the timer. Go ahead. We got about 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and grab some water and then we're going to get started. The second one now, you're going to do claps. So you're really going to squeeze back. Hope everyone had a good weekend. It's, it was hot in Denver. Hot in Wisconsin. That's good. <laughs> it was cold in Wisconsin. Very hot. Oh, hot. Very hot, hot. and humid. Yeah, not nice. <laughs> <laughs> how, how is it in, in St. Louis, Frank? It's summertime. It's supposed That's to be. good. <laughs> <laughs> Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, the next one, grab some water if you need it. You're either gonna start moving your hands like if you're running, so that bend motion 90 degree. And if you or you can do it if you want to warm up, start warming up the legs, you can do marching in a seated position. You could do both if you're super talented like Aaron. So go ahead and get started. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. So some people really like to reach. So what we're doing now is we're warming up every angle of our shoulder, getting nice and warmed up, comfortable, break a little sweat, not like pump it up, but just getting our body warmed up. We got about 15 more seconds. About five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and slow down and rest. Next one is you're gonna rotate in your chair to the left. So you can put your hand behind your back, really extend that spine, rotate it. You wanna move your head as well. You're gonna hold for 15, 10 seconds. Make sure you're taking deep breaths, relaxing. We got about five more. Three, two, one, okay, release, go ahead back to center. Now you're gonna rotate to right. Make sure you're taking deep breaths. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, go ahead and release. You're gonna do it one more time to the left. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two. Go ahead and release, and then one more time to the left or to the right. I'm sorry. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. The next one you're gonna do. We're gonna start with our left. You're gonna raise your left arm over and then lean, but the new one, the new trick is you can either sit on your right hand. So what that's gonna do is gonna stabilize and lock our, sh our right shoulder. So as you lean, or you can put your right hand, if you don't wanna sit on your hand, right just behind your back. So almost like a four, both work. So you can either sit on your right hand and then start leaning, or you can just put it behind your back. We're gonna hold for 15. Really stretch it out. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and release. Same thing, you're either gonna sit on the left hand or put it behind your back and then you're stretching. 
Good job, Jane. Good job, Frank and Aaron. Make sure you're breathing. Take deep breaths. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to do this one more time. So either sitting or putting it behind your back. 15 seconds. I think Frank has a question. <laughs> 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and rotate. Our range of motions are very different. Some people have really flexible in the shoulders or they're not as tight as others. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Go ahead and release. Grab some water if you need it. Next one we're going to do is you're going to bring your right knee to your chest, whether you're going to move it or manually. If a modification for this is now you can bring your chest to knee. Both work. So go ahead, either you're going to bring it knee to chest or modification, you bring your chest to your knee. One is stretching out the hamstrings, the other one is engaging the lower back and our glutes. So this one you're going to hold for 15. You can also do this on the ground or standing. We got about five more seconds. Three, two, one, go ahead and release or come back up. Now go ahead and rotate to the left. Either you're raising that knee or you're bringing your chest to your knee. So they, these, Frank, you got to do, I know you, Frank rides his recumbent trike. So he uses his, his quads and his hamstrings a lot. And then Jane's a hand cyclist. So it would be upper body, the rotator cuff, our shoulders. And then Erin will is going to do all the sports, so she's got to do a, a total body stretch. But in release, we're going to do that one more time, whether this time I want you to try to go a little higher. So really stretching out that hamstring, the glute. You got about 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two. Go ahead and bring it down gently and then go to the left side. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and release. The next one you're gonna do. This is where the band's gonna come into play. So this one you're gonna extend your legs so you can move forward a little bit on your chair. Make sure you stabilize. You're gonna extend those legs as best as you can, and then. If you're able to, you can put that band right under the forefoot, right in the middle, and then you're going to pull yourself to get a really good stretch. If not, you can extend as far as you can, and then you lean. So with, with or without the band, make sure it doesn't release and hit you, and then go ahead and pull. So we got about 10 seconds, and we're going to do this twice so you can either you can also just lean if you don't have a band frank three two one go ahead and release we're going to do that one more time so go ahead and get started so really pull you want to feel stretch never pain You can tell if a right or left leg is super tight. You got 10 seconds. So really lean over or use your band. Three, two, one. All right. Grab some water. So that was our warm up. Today we're going to focus on two types of stretching. We're going to go into our shoulders. And then we're gonna go into we're gonna go into our wrists. So today for the shoulders, you'll need your. I don't think you'll need you. You're just gonna we're gonna use body. 
where the wrist we're going to use our foam roller stick or any type of stick or you know a, a towel so we're going to get started with a couple of stretching exercises for our shoulders the first one we're going to do is going to be circle so you're going to go front rotating forward or front small ones getting those shoulders nice and warmed up we're going to do this for about 15 seconds so we got about 10 more seconds you can also do these with weights if you wanted to do a workout five more seconds three two one go ahead and go backwards now a really small and then we're going to start expanding the circle when we go front. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Go ahead and grab some water. Next one, circles. Now, after you're grabbing some water, we're going to do big ones. So these are going to be really big. So go ahead and get started whenever you're ready. You can do it really slow, just feeling that range of motion. Or you could be like Aaron, who looks like Michael Phelps. Really go at your own pace. If you did some shoulder work with Monica this morning, you should be feeling this. We got about five more seconds. Make sure you're breathing, relaxing. Good job, Frank. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going to go backwards whenever you're ready. If you need water, please get it. Got about 10 seconds of these. Hello, Donna. Good morning. We're just working on some shoulders, so just jump in whenever you're ready. Okay. Go ahead and slow down, grab some water. We'll let Donna jump in. I spilled mine, so let me grab some. Then, so today, Donna, we're focusing on shoulder stretches and exercises. Okay. So she finishes that. The next one we're going to focus on, you're going to take that left arm and you're going to cross it. So this one first we're going to do straight because we're going to change it when we do it a second time. So you're going to hold for 15, really stretching out that posterior capsule. Make sure you breathe in. You got about 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, go ahead and release. You're gonna go right. And if you started on the opposite side, then it's the opposite hand. 15 seconds. Five, four, Three, two, go ahead and grab some water. We're gonna do the same thing, but now what I want you to focus is bend that arm up. So some people do it straight, some people bend it. It's just a different feeling. So 15 seconds. 10, five, Four, three, two, go ahead and release. Same thing, bend that arm. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Go ahead and grab some water. Next one we're gonna do. You're gonna bring that left arm right behind the, your neck, so triceps stretch, that's the inferior capsule, and then just gently push down. You should never feel pain, anything discomfort. Really breathe, I want you to expand your diaphragm. Take deep breaths. We got 10 seconds. Three, Two, one, go ahead and slowly release. Now you're gonna take that right arm. Five, four, 
15 seconds. Good job, Donna. Good job, Frank. Good job, Aaron. We lost Donna. She'll be back. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Go ahead and release. We're going to do this one more time, but instead of now that hand coming right behind your neck, you're just going to pull that arm gently. So just nice and gentle. It should still be behind your head. So go ahead. Five, four, three, two. Go ahead and release. You're going to bring that right arm. Same thing. We're going to do 15. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, the next one we're going to do is you're going to do some external rotation. So we're going to start with the right arm. I want you to bring that arm in front of you almost 90 degrees. And then you're just going to go side to side. The other one that some people can do is they cross their hand and then it's it's tricky but we can just do this one i can't do it <laughs> so just 90 degrees and then you're just going to go up and down we'll do these for 10 seconds five four three two go ahead and go to the left arm so remember right in front of you You got five seconds. Three, two, one. Go ahead and grab some water. And the next one we're going to do is we're going to take both of our hands. They're going to start in front of us together. And then you're going to open. It's almost like a field goal. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Do this for 15. Good job, Jane. Next time we'll make Frank do it with weights. It looks too easy. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Grab some water. Next one we're going to do is you're grabbing some water. You're going to relax in that chair. You're going to take those hands, palms facing away from you. And then you're going to bring them back. So really feel the squeeze not only in your scapula. I want you to squeeze with your... Expanding that chest. So you're going to hold it. Almost if you're jumping off like a, a ski jump. Uh, they look super cool. Stretched out. So you got five more seconds. Three, two, one. Go ahead and release. Relax. You're going to do it one more time. So you're going to, Donna, you're going to put those palms facing away from you, nice and straight, the arms. And then go ahead and all the way back, really engaging your chest. 15 seconds. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go ahead and relax, grab some water. The next one we're going to do is you are going to now, with your right hand, you're going to just gently pull your neck to the right. And this is another one where you can either sit on your hand or you can put it behind your back. What this does is, is this is relaxing this opposite shoulder and you're feeling a stretch on that neck and on the other, other part of the body. So it shouldn't be super hard. Five, four, three, Two, one, go ahead and release. Same thing, you can either sit on the right hand or put it behind your back. And then you're just gently, there you go, Donna. So she's standing. Now that would go behind your back. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go ahead and release. You can do it one more time. Grab some water if you need it. Try to keep that head nice and neutral. Good 
five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and gently release, and we're gonna do it last time to the left. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, grab some water. Next one we're gonna focus on as you guys are grabbing water, we're gonna focus on those wrists, specifically the extensors and our flexors. So today you'll use the foam roller stick. If you don't have it, it's okay, you can recreate it. And now you can grab a wooden spoon, a towel. So first one we're gonna do, we're gonna do without equipment. We're just gonna extend those arms out in front of us. And then you're gonna drop those wrists. So like some people like to go up and down. You can hold both work, your choice. Go ahead and get started, it's gonna be 15 seconds. So you can recreate the Thriller dance, just holding your hands down, or you can do reps, your choice. So some of us are doing the Thriller dance, some are just holding. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and relax them, shake them out. Next one we're gonna do is same thing. You're gonna extend those arms out, and now you're gonna go and extend those fingers up. You're gonna raise, so it's harder to hold. I would say do the reps, but if you wanna challenge yourself and really work on those wrists. You got 15 seconds. Good job, everyone. Good job, Donna. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and grab some water. And this is where you're gonna take out your foam roller stick if you have it. If not, you can use a towel, anything that is straight that you can turn or just recreate the movement. So the first one we're gonna do, you can extend out. You can put your hands on your knees, whatever you want. This is more fatigue. It's really engaging our shoulders well. You're gonna roll that forward. I want you to start off slow. or do this for 15 seconds. The second rep, I want you to speed it up. We got 10 seconds. This is also engaging that forearm muscle. Five, four, Three, two, one, go ahead and relax. Grab some water if you need it. And now we're gonna go backwards. So again, ex either extending or putting your hands on your knees. Go ahead and get started. So nice and slow, control the motion. This is a, a movement we don't do as much or really engage our forearm muscles as much or work them out. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab some water. Because the next one, we're going to repeat it. You're going to go faster. All right. If everyone's ready, we're going to do it for 15. This is where I want you to try to speed it up. It's only going to be 10 seconds. I think Frank's in the lead right now. Aaron's in the hot second. Jane's in third. Donna and then me. So three, two, one, go ahead and relax. We'll rest for a little bit because that's, you feel it more in those muscles. Shake off your wrist, your hands. We're going to now go backwards whenever everyone's ready, starting in three, two, one. So speed it up. Good job, Frank. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Grab some water if you need it. As you're grabbing some water, the next one is you're going to take that foam roller stick, you're going to put it on your right hand, and we're going to start rotating it. So we're really working on our grip strength, our rotation of that wrist. It is for 10 seconds. So if you're watching in gallery, you can tell someone's range, different people's range of motion is different. Some people can really rotate. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and rotate to the left.
We got five seconds. Three, two, one. Go ahead and relax. The next one you're going to do, same thing. You're going to start with your right hand. You're going to just rotate forward and back. So try to do it all on your wrist. Good job, Frank. Good job, Donna. Good job, Jane, Aaron. Three, two, one. Go ahead and relax, and then you're going to do left. I'm going to do this for 15 seconds. Five seconds, three, two, one, and rest. All right, our last one for this specific for our wrist is you're gonna take that foam roller stick. You're just gonna place your hands on your knees, nice and comfortable. You're gonna grip it and what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring those wrists forward and back. So really drop them down and then bring them up, controlling that stick. Like I said, you should never feel pain you know your range of motion. You're gonna do 15 reps, so go ahead and get started. I think someone's getting a phone call. <laughs> okay, once you're done with your 15 reps, go ahead and grab some water and we're gonna enter the cool down. So today for the cool down, if I could find it. So the first one we're gonna do, as you're grabbing some water, we are gonna first do, we're gonna extend high above our heads. Just hold up, down if you're standing, there you go. Take a deep breath. I want you to take three big breaths at your own pace. Once you get the three, go ahead and release, shake it off. Now you're gonna take that left hand, stretch as far as you can go. Same thing, you're gonna take three big breaths at your own pace. Go ahead and release. Now you're gonna go right. Go ahead and bring them back down. Next one you're gonna do, nice and comfortable in your chair, you see the position, you take those hands together, you're gonna extend out, and then this is where you rotate that body. Bring it back in, and you're gonna squeeze, extend out as far as you're comfortable, then rotate, come back in, squeeze, we're gonna do three of these. As you're bringing those arms back, that's where you take that deep breath. Last one. All right, grab some water. So as we're cooling down, the next one we're gonna do is you're gonna take those arms right across the shoulders. And then I want you to start rotating clockwise. We're gonna do this for 10 seconds and then we're gonna go opposite. Five seconds, three, two, one. Go ahead and go the opposite way. Good job, everyone. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Now I want you to take your right hand, put it right in that trap, and just start massaging it. So you can do that C cupping. You can do pressure with your thumb.
About five seconds. Please don't fall asleep. Three, two, one. All right, go ahead and move to the other side of the shoulder. From here, we're gonna to transition to our lower body, our trunk. Go ahead and drink some water. The next one you're gonna do, we're all seated and Donna, you're standing. All seated athletes, seated participants. We're gonna just start shifting our weight with our trunk. For you, Donna, I want you to start moving your hips. Just getting them nice and loose, relaxed, crossing those planes. Good job, Jane, good job, Frank. We got five more seconds. I wish we could send out hula hoops. Go ahead and go the opposite way now. So counterclockwise, or if you started on the wrong side, clockwise. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. The next one we're gonna do is now, we've done the knee to chest. The next one we're gonna do is, there's a couple of them that you can do. You can either do calf raises if you're able to. If not, you're massaging the calf or you're using your foam roller stick behind that calf muscle. So anything to engage it, there's three options. For you, Donna, you can do calf raises if you're standing. So I want you to do a, a one, two, three, and then down. And then for these athletes, you could do calf raises sitting, or you can massage it with the foam roller stick. Really get those two parts of the calf muscle. Go ahead and get started. Donna, you're gonna do it for 30. Everyone else, we're gonna switch at 15. So 10 more seconds. Donna, you got 20. Three, two, one, go ahead and switch to the left, and if you're, Donna, you still continue. So massaging the calf muscle or using the foam roller stick. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, next one we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure you stabilize. All seated athletes, I want you to just bring your chest down as comfortable as you can. Try to touch your toes. Donna, for you standing, just relax those legs, bring the body down. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Make sure you're taking deep breaths. Relax. Halfway there, 15. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and come back up. Next one we're gonna do, we got a couple more and we're almost done. The first one we're gonna do is you're gonna take those hands and if you're standing like a jumping jack, but you're gonna breathe. So as you come up is where you're breathing. Go at your own pace, we're gonna do five, and then you exhale. So go ahead and some people can hold their breath longer. Please don't pass out. and really pro exaggerate that, that exhale. This really helped us in sports, controlling the way we breathe, especially when we're in that high aerobic, especially cycling, when you're doing those hills. I want you to get your five glass of water. The next one we're gonna do, is we're gonna take those hands together right in front of us. But what I want you to focus, not only on breathing, is really squeezing. So you should be almost shaking as you're coming up because you're, what you're doing is you're engaging that whole arm to squeeze, to engage those muscles. So go ahead and get started. So really squeeze and then release. You're gonna do five at your own pace. So really squeeze as hard as you can you should see yourself shaking. So really focusing on engaging those muscles.
And once you're done, grab some water. We're going to do the last one. The last one for today, you're going to take that left arm first. You're going to open it wide, and then your right hand's going to follow. And then right hand comes back. There you go. You're going to do a total of three on each side at your own pace. What you're going to start noticing is your body will start opening up. Some people can really go back. And once you get your three, grab some water, stop your timers. And we are done for today.